we're throwing it all the way back to when we were in our teens. And uh, I don't know. I, I love how we were talking about how the voice cracks and the puberty and all the awkward stuff. And, you know, I feel like at that age, you were more into your friends, right? Than mm-hmm. you would be hanging out with your family. Yes. So I want to pretend like we're in that, that weird, awkward stage again. And our parents say we can't do what we want to do. So tell me about a time that this happened to you and how did you take care of it? Because there's a person or more like a kid in this exact situation. And uh, hopefully they won't take care of the situation how we have taken care of it. So who wants to go first? I mean, I could go because so like that used to happen a lot where like I used to tell my parents something. They're like, no, but but so basically I had this friend. And my parents didn't really like this friend, right? Normal. A lot of parents do it. And I was like, I want to go to her house. No. I'm like, um, okay. So I would, if like, usually on Thursdays, we would go home early from school. So I would just be What's special about Thursdays? uh, uh, In in the Middle East, Thursday is the Friday. Oh, cool. So like we take Friday and Saturday off. So on Thursday, we go home one hour early. So I just told them, oh, I have like extra, extra help. You know, extra extra help um, lecture. So, I mean, lecture, what do they call it? Class. I had an extra help class. So, I did that, and I just went to her house. And, and like, I, I was just a rebellious one. And they never knew about it. But Until now. Until now. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I used to do that a lot. Like, I used to do that, like, every Thursday. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I wish I was one of those kids that, like, just just started coming up with excuses to get what I want. I was kind of like, uh. Like, once my mother said no, it was kind of like, even all right. worth it. Honestly, yeah, literally, honestly, I was, was just kind of like, I'm not about to say it. Like, if I were to go back in time, I wouldn't go. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> no, but at least you you know that you have that she sense of rebellion. Friend. Like, the girl I was so, like, quote unquote friends with, mm-hmm. um, she actually, like, turned out to be a bad person. And, like, my parents were like, I told you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, let me learn my lessons alone, okay? <laughs> What do you What do you mean by a bad person? Like, did she just like steal books? I don't books know. Or? No, she was like, she was like very like. Uh, I I mean, we were at the time we were like thirteen, fourteen, and like she was all about the like adult life. Let's just say that. Oh, okay. Every villain is lemons. Okay. Evil. She was evil. What's wrong with lemons, though? Why Why insult lemons? Because every villain is lemons. Oh, okay. They're bitter. Yeah, they're bitter. That's Are they bitter is. or sour? Both. <laughs> Both. Mikey, I want to hear your story. So, hmm. Dan, you want to hear my story? Uh, <laughs> I do, after I hear Mikey. <laughs> okay. So out over there, I see you. <laughs> good qu- <laughs> good, good <laughs> comeback, Jamie. <laughs> I, I I can feel the vibe today. I got you. You, you, so. you sit down over there. <laughs> so, yes, <ma'am>. um, <laughs> I had a very... Sh- I had a very strict, I had a very strict father growing up, and uh, I literally was pretty much locked inside my house and like during the summer i was only allowed to be like outside in the front of my house in view of the house type of deal like very strange so as a teenager i wanted to rebel a little bit so i would actually since i lived i had my room downstairs on the first floor and downstairs was a sliding glass door that was the only way to sneak out of the house right (laughs) so i would just like leave in the middle of the night and just go walking around the neighborhood and that was like my form of rebellion, which is like to leave the house when no one knew I was out, and I would just like walk around for hours and pound hours, and I'd just come back before dawn, before anyone woke up. Yep, that was my act of rebellion. Like you weren't even doing anything; no, you were just walking, just walking, just get that little bit of freedom, just get away from everything. Yeah. Okay. That and nobody it. figured out your little secret? My mom winded up figuring it out because I started getting a little more like uh, gutsy, we'll say, with it. And uh, I would <laughs> wait. So there's a there's a deli around the corner from my mother's house. And uh, it's still there to this day. And I would take a walk early in the morning, like 5, 6 a.m., to uh, grab a bagel. And I would just like grab... This is when like bagels were still like 50 cents, 25 cents for a bagel. Uh. And uh, like your cream cheese or butter was like an extra seventy five cents. So it was a dollar for an entire bagel. Just go to the deli with like a couple of bucks, grab a get a bagel with some butter and uh, a Nesquik strawberry Nesquik every time. And I would just walk home with it. And my mom wind up finding the wrappers. She's like, "What's that?" I was like, "Uh," she's like, "Okay." Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks, nice, well, bye. It wasn't even a, it's not even a big deal. Like, you were just going she to the store. She didn't care. No, I she, mean, you're yeah. just getting yourself food at that right, point. Right, but yeah. the, whole thing, the whole thing was my parents were very overprotective and just didn't want me walking around the neighborhood because they felt the neighborhood wasn't the best of places. I have a question. Were you an only child? Nope. 
Oh, so you had siblings? I am the like oldest. living living in that. Yeah, I'm the oldest. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, and you're the oldest. And I'm the oldest. Usually, the oldest is the one that has the most freedom. Like for me, like what? I'm the king. Keep reminding what me that. I thought they get the yes. least. I always no, thought they got yes. the least. Yeah, no. No. no, the youngest is like the middle, and the youngest have like are, the parents are usually more protective over. Yeah, Zayna, because the older the older child is more like the guardian over their other. Zayna, h- are you the oldest? Yes. Zayna, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. The youngest normally oh, get no. their room through yes. for free. I mean, it's all, all the people I know, that's how it is wow. like with them. Because like the older person is more responsible. They're the ones who drive. They're the ones who get the yeah, groceries. The yeah, you have to help. earn it, though. Yeah, not for I me. I mean, yeah, earn it. So like, yeah, like that, I, that, that started happening free. to me when I was like 17, 18, which is normal. Like, to me, that's normal. But like, no. No. since you were the older one. No. No. But when you were 18, that didn't happen to you? Nope. I, my my I I had a very strict upbringing. And yeah, but I was just, until my, I me like too, I had to leave the house to gain freedom. That's yeah, how I, I don't have that. Yeah. And my, yeah. I mean, I'm mine's is strict to a point. Not I don't think I think yours is much worse. So <laughs> yeah, I grew, my, I, I can share it all fair. It gets yeah. it gets even crazier, but yeah. So I I think my mom was similar to like your dad in a sense, far as like strictness. Now I'm mm-hmm. probably I'm pretty sure. Yours was like Thompson. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, you know, whatever. But, but my mom, she was very strict. And I feel like when I when I got to that age, I felt like she had taught me all these things that I needed in life to kind of go out and use, kind of use what I've learned and to experience life kind of thing. But I felt like she, there was a time where she didn't fully trust that what she had taught me like she told me at a young age hey when you get to that age where you go out and you have a drink always watch your drink if you don't if you go to the mm-hmm. bathroom either take your drink with you or get another one kind of thing right. like watch the people you hang out with watch oh, um things like that so i already knew this going on so far as me wanting to go out let's say to the movies right we would have a group of kids and probably like seven eight of us we would always go to the movie mm-hmm. i knew all seven and eight people that i was going with i knew I didn't hang around people who were doing things that I know were wrong, like stealing, shoplifting, all of that. No, yeah, I yeah. didn't. I wasn't around people like that. I didn't associate with myself with people like that. Wow. But it would always be a problem. Of who's going with their parents? Da, da, da. <laughs> I just told you we're meeting up to go to the movies. Their parents have nothing to do with it. They're dropping them off. So you guys were all good noodles? I yeah, was. Yeah. No, I was. And that's what frustrates me. And that's why I'm, I am now where I'm like, I don't care anymore because I feel like I'm going to be blamed for what I didn't do. I might as well do a kind of situation, you know? You guys oh, that mindset. Looking looking back at it, I wish. No, I, I don't do anything crazy, but I'm just saying. I, uh, yeah, uh, me too. Looking back like, at it, I really wish I was like more rebellious and just oh, I'm gonna go outside and walk around for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I wish I went to like parties and just like really like yeah, because I having fun. But like, like, but, but like, like if it's without your like family's. Con- I mean, in your case, I understand. But like, <laughs> but like. I, I, I used to always say that. I used to be like, oh, why don't I just like do something like bad? No one's no one's gonna care anyways. I'm gonna get 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 in trouble anyways. But it, it's not, not about but bad. literally because half of the stuff I wanted to do wasn't even like bad. I just wanted to be a kid yeah, and like you know go you're gonna lose your family's trust. Why would you lose your family's trust for something? Because so I, I didn't have it in the first place. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I, I didn't. Know. You taught me these things and don't even trust me to go yeah, out in the world and follow them. It? Honestly, I didn't even like climb trees as a kid. You can't like, regain trust. I was never there. Hi, Jamie. What doing all right so i got two stories for you just remind me of two make it one and a half (laughs) all right i'll tell you about one that really sparked me when i saw this article and also just topics so pretty much when i was a kid i remember i had a diary i don't know if any of you guys had diaries too Mm -hmm. when i was in that really awkward stage i had two diaries because one got full after a while and I remember I wrote down in there all this like weird stuff. And I remember vividly when I was 14, I was just learning, uh, you know, drew friends because I had a, a one friend who was 18 and I had my uh, best friend at the time. We're no longer friends. All of us are no longer friends. So it doesn't really matter about these people now. Um, so I really wanted to go to the mall with them and hang out. And my mom said, no, let's go do errands throughout the day. And I thought if I did errands throughout the day, I would get to go to the mall with my friends. That never happened. So it turns out that that my friends were hanging out after the mall and they invited me to hang out. And I said, hey, mom, we're done with dinner. Can I come hang out? And she was like, no. And I was like, why not? I literally did everything you wanted today. Why can't I go out? And she's like, because it's too late. I'm like, the sun is still up. I'm like, (laughs) dude, it's still like six o'clock in the afternoon. It's summertime. Why can't I go out? And she's like, no. And I lost my mind. My friends were literally outside my house, hiding in the bushes, waving to me, screaming my name. You know, that makes you feel 
embarrassed. That's like, probably why your mom said no because she knew. Yeah, your she were probably there. thought your friends were so weird. <laughs> but I like, they like, didn't knock on the door. No, I don't like that. Oh, what? I'm not into that. <laughs> what the hell? So they just standing. Hi, Jamie. Waving outside. That's okay. Well, but they were knocking texting. on the door is not. <laughs> well, they were texting me, and I knew my mom was going to say no anyway. She oh, told me okay. no all day long. What's the difference of them knocking? Yeah. They're going to get no to their face. Yeah. So oh, instead, true. I kind of took matters into my own hands, and I got really angry, and I decided to take my phone and take my uh, house keys, and I ran outside, and I ran away for a few hours, and I just chilled out. I had a lot well, of didn't fun. run away with them? Yeah, I ran away with them. Oh, we I just, thought you just ran away she, alone. I'm like, that defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, Jamie. Like, it's like those little things. You weren't going out to cause trouble. You genuinely just wanted to hang out with your friends and have some fun. And, and it was all, it seemed like it was a crime back then, you know? I had a lot of fun. I mean, it was good. We, we had fun. I have to say, though, like, my mom lost her mind, her and uh, my other friend's mom, because they didn't know that we were all hanging out. Uh, they called the cops almost. They were looking for us at, like, Dunkin' Donuts, looking for <laughs> us at all these different places. And I'm like, why are you looking? Like, Do you not just... feel your mom at all? What? Like, do you, do you not feel where she's coming from? What, what? Like, her? how old are you? I was, like, 14. Okay, so her 14-year-old daughter. So 11 daughter, years later, do you understand where she was coming from? Like, if you have a 14-year-old daughter and she just runs away from the house and you think she's mad at you... Aren't you scared she's going to do something to herself? She's going to go kill her? It's anything. I would no. freak out. I would freak yeah, out. She wanted to go hang out with her friends. She wanted to go hang out with her friends. I have a 14-year-old Regardless of what she sister. wanted to do, she disappeared yeah. like that. Like I If get I that had idea. a kid and she disappeared on me and we just had an argument, I'm going to think the worst. Yeah. yeah because yeah. my think, sister's okay. 14 and she's at that stage where she'll she's rebellious and she did that like recently. Like she just There's she didn't really run away. Compromise. She just, you know. You need to compromise and let people do yeah, things that they want to do. Yeah, but you did not compromise. Exactly. That was just running No, away. I'm with you 100%, Jamie. What? You're but also, yeah. the, at that point, you're the child in the relationship. Like, I'm confused. If I literally went with you and did all these errands all day long, you can't let me hang out with my friends for a little bit? As Okay, as, but okay, you like, have to accept Growing it. up, like... But I, every time, like, it wasn't no, just like, yeah. That means no. And I tried arguing it with but it. But if I asked you all day... <laughs> It, it doesn't matter how long I asked. Yeah. It didn't matter. Wow. Like, I, I, it's a, it's but a, if I crazy. asked you all day and then I keep no. asking over and over no. again and I'm still doing if, everything you ask and then my friends are saying no, no. Like, straight yeah. up. But, no, but then know. it goes into the narrative that our parents are always right when they're not. That's true, too. No, but yeah. a lot of times I feel like they have a gut They have a about reason things. about it. You oh, know yeah, I, mean? I have, like, you I have another that. story but, that's But that's similar. the thing. Why don't they just say that? Like, I feel like if you communicate now, that with your child, okay. they wouldn't do the things that, Talking you about know. past stuff, moving forward into the future, yes. Yeah. Parents should explain things more to their children. But when you're gladly. a child, sometimes children don't understand the perspective that the parents That's why you explain from. it to that's them. No, even when Yes, Jamie, why? So I have another story that's kind of similar where I did something similar again where as a kid I wanted to hang out with this guy but my mom wouldn't let me oh. because I don't know <laughs> she just said that he lived too far away but he was literally across the bu- one of the busy streets <laughs> but she said no because it was too far away and I said what if I even got a ride and she still said no so I took matters into my own hands and I said I really like this person and I don't want anyone else to try and get with him so I took it into my own hands and I tried to walk there <laughs> at night and uh, they, my mom went out on another manhunt and trying to find me and uh, your poor mother <laughs> no, I'm not with you on this one, Jamie. I'm not with you on this one. You were at night, not at night. She was tripping for a reason. And you were only like early teens. I was so again so 14. Yeah, no, and see, I would literally, and you know what's I would so embarrassing? At that point, I would shackle you to a ball and chain in your room and never let you You know what's the most embarrassing part is they took my phone and looked through my text messages. Ooh. Yeah, that's, at that's that as point, they should. I probably would too. And it was so awkward because they were like, what is going on with this guy? And I'm like, what do you mean? What is going on? I, you know, I have feelings for yeah, this Yeah, you person. never know. Like, there's so many things to think, Jamie. There's drugs. There's the boom boom. There's so Ew, many things stop to think. That. But as, as a, boom, 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 <laughs> as a 14 year old that's trying to sneak out to see a guy in the night. What yeah, do you no, think they're gonna think? That's, uh, just I'm to hang out, out with friends because it was a group oh, setting. Oh, that's funny, again. Jamie. That's nope. hilarious. It was a group <laughs> setting once again. Yeah, I would I know, never hang like, out with you, a guy alone. Do you, at you that really age. think your parents are gonna know that? Well, maybe no. if they actually listened.
Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like literally, I feel yeah, like parents uh, but when kids it comes lie to lie a lot. So what? you could have lied about that. I am not a liar. Exactly. And you, at lie. the end of the day, it comes to them not trusting their children mm-hmm. whatsoever. And I'm like, you raised this person. How can you not trust that they they embedded what you taught them? I want to say you, like, you, d- 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 I'm going to tell you three words to explain everything. Mm-hmm. Kids are stupid. No, you're going to do that. They are. So we're talking about this because I'm going to change it a little bit, but it's still in the same realm. This girl, right? She's about 13 years old and she loves to hang out with this woman. I'm assuming so it's her aunt, right? Mm -hmm. So she likes to hang out with her aunt and this aunt is now banned from uh, an Easter party because... The uh, the aunt would go out and party Her a aunt. lot. The aunt would always be not stable financially. She would lose jobs. And when she would lose a job, she would come to this girl's parents and ask for money to help her keep her afloat. So she, they knew that this girl wasn't uh, in the best mindset to be around someone. So, of course, a 13-year-old would be like, oh, my God, that's so cool. You know, I want to be just like her. I want to party and have fun. Because, you know, that's what you think of when you're a kid. You think adult life is fun. (laughs) But uh, what happened was, I think it was for her birthday, the 13-year-old girl's birthday. And she had decided to take her out for dinner. But it turns out that they were not actually going out for food. They actually went out to one of the aunt's friend's houses and got her belly button pierced. Oh, Oh my my God. God. How how do you think your parents would handle if you came home with a piercing? I mean, I did that. I did that. I did that. But not not my belly. Not my belly, on my nose. (gasps) My my dad didn't know. I just told my mom, look, mama, we're going to go get my nose pierced. So I did it. And then I came home. I was like, hi, Baba. Well, and then he, he didn't even notice. You and I'm like, rebel. Baba, look. He was like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, he's not gonna. <laughs> he's like, he had no reaction. I was like, okay, this is how it feels to be an adult now. I was 18. It was on my 18th birthday. So I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. And and I dyed my hair like purple. <laughs> yeah, but nobody sees her <laughs> oh, hair. Like, yeah, I know. Well, her family but like, sees her hair. But like, I'm trying to rebel here. Okay. <laughs> her family sees her hair. It's really hard to rebel when no one else sees it, though. <laughs> no, no, but, but like the nose piercing, it. that's like a big thing. But wait, you took it out. I took it out because it, it got infected. But like um, it was there at a point. See, like when I got, I wanted my nose pierced since I was 16. And when I finally got the guts to do it, I went with my mom and we waited a long time. And she she was cool with it. She helped me out through it. But uh, when I came home and I was like, Dad, do you see anything different? He's like, no. He didn't know for two hours. Yeah, after me too. My dad to didn't me. even notice. I'm like, how do you not see it? It's he right there. spoke to me for two hours. Looked me in, you know, dead in the eye, everything. I got death glares after I got my lip and eyebrow piercing. Okay, because you, <laughs> I you got, got glares. Because those, you're a guy. Yeah, but those are like more noticeable, I would yeah, feel, and than a kind of. But, but at the end of the day, he's him, you know? I feel like at a certain point, uh, at a certain point in, in a child's age, when do you stop trying to control them and dictate what they do every single detail of their life? I mean, I life? was 22 when I got my like piece. come on you are a grown <laughs> man like literally like come on now let them go stop sh- let them leave the nest please the stop nest. my father wanted me to also get laser surgery on my tattoos I why it. What? yeah yeah to take them out he wants some my you want me to remove my tattoos and i said no <laughs> they literally be keeping said, the little birdies in the show more pain and spending more money to remove yeah, a tattoo no way paid happening. all the money it's why don't happening. you just laser i'm not lasering anything what are you no, talking no, no, about it's his body Hmm? Why doesn't he just like just like shut his eyes then? I don't know. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, that, that, no. Why doesn't he just like I don't know? I mean, the most you could do if it really makes him that uncomfortable is just wear long sleeves or whatever. But then again, why do you really have to adjust yourself for someone? They Think just accept of my you. father as like a mixture of like Fidel Castro and like oh my uh, God. Stalin and like an iron fist and an iron just a, just an iron fist all that, that that's my father yeah uh-huh dang I'm mm-hmm. so sorry this is why when I was 22 he was giving me death glares about what I was doing with my life yeah but uh <laughs> so I guess like the piercing is not that bad but I feel like okay I feel like it would be a lot worse if you came home with a tattoo yeah, a, definitely. Because a piercing, you could eventually just take it off. 
Yeah. But like a, a tattoo, tattoo is there. Yeah. It's there. not going nowhere. It was funny though. When I, so I have a. But is it noticeable? Like where? So is I have it? an armband of oh, uh, okay. puzzle pieces, mm-hmm. and um, I thought I got it high enough to where it can be covered with short sleeves. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the one shirt I was wearing the day I got it, like it just barely showed the bottom line oh, of yeah. the puzzle pieces. And he was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Oh crap!" That? <laughs> and that's my second tattoo. That was my second tattoo. So oh. we, my first tattoo's on my uh, shoulder. So he never saw that. Yeah. But he was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Uh." How was, did you oh. explain that? I was one? I was trying to. So I lifted it up. Obviously, I had no choice at that point. And it's puzzle pieces. And I was trying to like play it off, like because I got the puzzle pieces for my brother since he's autistic. Aww. And if you know anything about autism, yes. that's you know the puzzle pieces represents autism. And uh, I was trying to be able to play it off like, hey, I got it for my brother. I was trying to say something you know meaningful, deep meanings for the love of my brother, blah blah blah. And he's just like, yeah, so we're going to take you get laser surgery. I was like, uh, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. I would I would have been mad, but since you're like 22, uh, you were 22 when you got it. Uh, 20. So that oh, point I was 20. That was kind of young, but like still. Like I, young. I would be You're a I, grown man. No, I, I know, but that's like my age. So like, if I came home with a tattoo, like meaning I don't you know. can go to a tattoo parlor, show your ID, and legally literally, get a what age no, do we stop I'm trying to about, please like, our parents? I'm talking about when your parents, you know, they're like conservative people. And mm-hmm. Why does that mean you have to be for real? You're grown, like I know, literally. But like, you have to expect that reaction. Like, you know, it's you gonna expect happen. your reaction. That's true. But at, you at don't a have to look. Like, why are you acting demand, like they're supposed though. to accept it? Like, they're not. They don't have to. But it's you at the end of the day. Like, if that makes yeah. you happy, when your parents are dead, literally, we have to live with the life that we chose for ourselves or that we let them dictate for us. You mean wrong? So you got at YOLO. Well, like, you got you got to do what you uh, make makes you happy. When I got my tattoo, my mom was like, "Are you really sure this is a good idea? Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Mom, you know what? Sometimes the impulse decision every once in a while is a good decision, and I'm <laughs> so happy I did it. Honestly, like, I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot worse than it was. I think it's just the anxiety. It's kind of like anything you would go into that you haven't done for the you know for the first time. The the first time is always the hardest but after that it was not that bad and i honestly love it i love my tattoo and i also love the one i have on my ankle and i just think it's like really really nice i look at it all the time and i'm like well i just think of my grandma and i also think of some really awesome memories and it's always like a nice reminder of something and you can never get that again i can always say that the only impulse tattoo i got was after someone passed away and i got a memorial tattoo for them like a couple days after the fact but that's the only impulse tattoo every one of my tattoos have been thought out and like have meaning behind it so like yeah. i i, I want to for me personally when it comes to tattooing i always feel like it needs to be something deep and meaningful you know like mm-hmm. kudos to you if you can go out and get an impulse tattoo and just be like oh i just want a flaming skull like more power to you you know what i mean like i can't do that that's not me yeah but like, my cousin can do that <laughs> he can just be like yeah i want that one just points to a random picture on the wall won't random flash and be like yeah give me that and that's it he's happy you know like that's fine by all means, do you. But me, I need something that's like always deep and meaningful. Like my Ninja Turtle tattoo. <laughs> I'm with you yeah, on that one. Like, meaningful. You, like you, ha- you have, like, you're, my, this is going to be on your body for the rest of your life. So you actually, want my Ninja Turtle world. tattoo is probably the most meaningful tattoo. Um, it is actually because another tattoo for my brother. And the reason why I have it, not only am I a big fan of the Ninja Turtles, mm-hmm. not only is it Michelangelo after <laughs> yours truly, Mikey, um, it was actually my brother's first word. My brother's autistic again. And uh, his when he was four or five he said his first word his first word was turtles Aww. but his whole thing was he used That's the word a for hard word for a child but we were watching ninja turtles all the time uh, you teenage know and ninja exactly turtles. so we we're watching ninja turtles all the time <laughs> and so he's saying turtles but he used that word for everything he, when he was hungry turtles he wanted pizza when he wanted to watch tv <laughs> turtles when he wanted to go play turtles wanted to go play you know he wanted turtle soup and my mom told me that i was like his interpreter Oh. So I knew every time he meant something, yeah. but by just saying turtles. Yeah. So because of that, after that story, uh, you know, I got the Ninja Turtles. Not only is Mike oh. my favorite, but also because of my brother. That's, that's beautiful. So, that's yeah, that's, see that, that's cute. Can you adopt me so I can be your brother? I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I said yes, you, you can, can be, be my, my brother, brother, my sister. I don't care. Yes, I adopt you, Gina. <laughs>